Hi, so I've, I've decided to do a video on read committed and the reason why I'm doing it is I, I found a lot of my colleagues actually uh, think that read committed is read repeatable without the blocking and I, I believe they think that because they're not uh, too sure about the differences between what a dirty read is and what a phantom read is and a lot of them didn't even realize that um, a phantom read can appear within a read committed transaction. So I'm going to demonstrate that here and demonstrate the difference between a dirty read and a phantom read. So let me get started here. I created a table here and the tables as in all my examples there's a identity column, a name value pair, name one, value one, and then a date. And there's three rows in there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute this read committed transaction and I put in these delays here to allow me to mimic concurrency so as these delays are happening before this transaction can finish I'm gonna pretend there are concurrent outside transactions that are acting on the same table um, and you'll see what happens with the data that it will even with read committed it will read phantom reads or it will have phantom rows or new rows that are added to it before the read committed transaction ends. So let me do that here. I'm going to run this transaction. And before this 10 seconds is over, I am going to delete a row. Then I'm going to wait until the 10 seconds so that this select statement is executed. And then I'm going to insert a row here. And I'm just going to update a row and notice I missed the update um, so it didn't actually catch it in, in this third select statement so let, let's review what we're seeing here is this is indeed a read committed transaction and there's actually three select statements within this transaction and the first select statement selected the original rows but as that was happening, before the transaction can finish, because I put a delay of 10 seconds in here, I actually executed this delete row. So imagine another parallel transaction occurring as this read committed transaction is running. And um, it alters the table. So the second time around, still being within the same tra transaction that hasn't committed, there's, the first row was actually deleted and um, same concept here with the third select is that uh, an outside transaction being this one inserted a row so there's two phantom rows here the phantom row here being um, the missing first row and then the phantom row here being the missing uh, I, I mean the uh, inclusive fourth row so what you notice here is um, recommitted doesn't read dirty data that is if I ran multiple if I ran this transaction here as one statement it won't all of a sudden read kind of a, a deleted row or an inserted row or an updated row without all of these being an, an atomic transaction that is without all of these statements being applied all at once or none at all so that's that's an atomic action that is related to the dirty read whereas uh, this here is the phantom rows that appear so read committed allows for phantom rows to appear but does not read dirty data so let me demonstrate that here um, so I have these weights here and I'm gonna run this transaction and actually let me run this again and you'll notice when I executed that update it, ac it actually get, did go in so let me re reset up this example here clearing everything and here's your original three rows and I'm gonna run these three statements again but I'm gonna run it within a transaction and I'm, I'm gonna put delays in here so I could uh, demonstrate the read committed and how it doesn't allow for dirty reads so I'm going to run this and as this transaction is happening I am running this read transaction and notice what's happening here it's going to block 
And, and the reason why it's blocking here, this read committed transaction is because it, it doesn't allow for dirty reads. So it has to wait for this whole um, atomic transaction here, the delete statement, the insert statement, and the update statement to absolutely finish before this statement here can finish. And um, I actually have delays in here, so um, when when the uh, there you go. So you so you'll notice um, that it it waited for this transaction to complete before this could finish, and and actually may, maybe maybe to be more explicit, I'll I'll uh, eliminate these weights on this one, and let me reset up the example here, just so you could see. That, that it actually did block until this transaction finished. So imagine a transaction's happening here and it's doing three statements that are once as one atomic action. So these three statements should be atomic. And as that's happening, I eliminated the weights. You, you'll see it's still blocking and um, this, this here, this recommitted transaction won't finish until this finishes. So there is about a delay of 20 seconds here. So after about 20 seconds, notice this finished and, and this here finished immediately. So that's how this recommitted transaction guarantees that no dirty read happens. And you'll see no dirty read happened here. Um, all of these three statements were applied or none of them applied. In this case, all of them applied because this transaction actually happened uh, before uh, this ran. So, um, so I hope here you you understand the difference between a dirty read and a phantom read. And um, for for me to demonstrate that, let me reset this here, and I'll show you what happens if it's not read committed. So if it's not read committed, this here will allow for dirty reads, meaning it, if, if this transaction deletes something or inserts something and I run this here, it's, it's quite possible that um, you know this here might have deleted this row, but it would have read kind of the uh, inserted row. So it's, it's kind of inconsistent uh, you, you wouldn't know what state it's in. Be because I put delays in here, you'll know what state it's in. Um, but uh, for all intents and purposes, it won't have this as a atomic transaction. It'll, it'll just read the dirty data that's there. So let me do that now. Uh, I'm going to run this transaction. So here, immediately when I ran it, it already deleted that row. So you notice if, if I run this here, what's what's gonna happen is I, I have these delays in here. Uh, I, I should have removed the delays, it would have finished right away. But but you'll notice in the first select it's gonna read that deleted row. Um, and it's gonna be in different states here. So you see it, it, re it read the deleted row and it even read the insert row. So this is this group here is already inconsistent and dirty data uh, because it didn't actually wait for all three of these statements to finish. Uh, let, let me reset up that example and show you what I mean by removing these weights you'll notice what the recommitted actually blocked so I'm gonna run this here and this is happening as this is happening I'm gonna run this and this is just gonna complete right away notice it completed right away and because read uncommitted allows for dirty reads it it never waited for this statement this uh, transaction to even finish even though I put delays in there um, so if I go back and I see what 
it actually would have read if it read consistent data it should be these three rows instead of read these three rows so um, hopefully uh, this will give you an idea of what dirty data is and uh, what phantom data is and uh, what an atomic transaction uh, is and how read committed protects you from kind of a reading dirty data by uh, requiring uh, atomic transactions to finish first while read uncommitted uh, doesn't care it just reads what's there even uh, transactions that are in the middle of finishing or haven't finished yet so uh, there you go that's a summary of um, dirty data phantom data and atomic transactions and um, you know just uh, data inconsistency and read uncommitted and recommitted all right uh, hope it wasn't uh, too confusing for you and uh, thank you for watching